All right, so now we're gonna go through the warm up for the leg workout. So if you're gonna hit a squat or a deadlift workout, or if you're gonna do um, what you have on there, some of the neural activation days, this is the warm up you'll wanna do so that you got your legs warmed up. You've probably already foam rolled or done the lacrosse ball to get some myofascial release or use the stick, uh, which is self-explanatory, just rolling out your legs with it. But then you still need to go through this warm up to make sure your muscles are primed and you have your full strength for your workout. So again, we always have it here on a dry erase board, written out, nothing crazy. And again, with, when we're doing a leg workout, we'll always run two or three laps. And for us, we got the garage door open and we'll, we'll go run outside. We'll go maybe run, you know, a couple hundred yards and we'll come back in and we'll get to work, okay? Again, we're gonna start this work, warm up right up with jumping jacks, right up overhead. Bang out about 20, then we'll go to body squats. I usually like to do my body squats right where I'm going to be squatting or deadlifting for the day so my feet are comfortable. So for me, I'm going with my feet close, down, up, I'll bang the bunch out, same form. I'm not going to let my knees collapse, I'm just saying knees out, feet out a little bit, down, up, and I'll bang 20 of those. Calf jumps are here. Calf jumps. Probably the easiest thing you can do, it's the same thing as using the jump rope. So if you ever want to grab your jump rope and use those for your part of your warm-up, that's something you can do. Then we'll run high knees, 40 yards. And here we got a 20-yard track. So we'll stay on here and we'll just bang up high knees. And on the way back, after you do that down and back, we hit butt kicks. Keeping your arms pumping. Everything's going to be getting hot while you're doing it. Lunge skips are right after that. Down up. Down up. With a little pop. Nothing lazy about this warm up. Getting through it, getting hot, as you can tell, I'm even getting my breath going a little bit doing it. After the lunge skips, we're going to go to a hip mobility walk, which you'll do probably walking straighter if you have hurdles, perhaps using the hurdles. Just coming up, get your hips loosened up, back it up, back it up, and then coming backwards, same thing. So, the variety with some kind of an obstacle, if you had a hurdle or something, I'll be using the prowler in our case, just coming up and over, and back, up and over. Getting your hips loose, it's a big deal. Go to any spring training or major league camp and you're gonna see them all doing it. Next thing we got here, after the hip mobility walk is karaoke, working on bringing that hip over and bringing up your knee high. So you're gonna come back, bring it up quick, up. Up, up, bring it back, up, 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 bring that back knee up as high as you can each time. <sighs> Squat to stand is next. Bring your feet, don't bring them too wide. Bring your feet just about shoulder width. Drop down low, hands are on top of your shoes. Keep them there, come up straight until your hamstrings lock out. Down and up. As a baseball player, I'm sure you can see the importance of being in this position, okay? How often are you gonna to have to do it? Every day, if you're an infielder, outfielder, catcher, pitcher, you're gonna to have to field balls. So be used to this. You gotta have strong hamstrings as a ball player. It's your uh, built-in knee brace for your legs. Then we got striders and groiners. Striders coming up high. Get a stretch in your high ham and your groin. Switch it. Drop that knee in, elbow into your, uh, into your inside of your foot, switching, get a stretch each time. Same thing with groiners, coming up straight, drop it in, press out a little, back, press, back, get loosened up. Three way hip mobility is right after that, staying down. We're going to raise up this leg, get your hips up again, come back and up. That's one way. Go to the side. That's the second way. And coming up and back is the third. Up, back. So again, to recap, we got three in the three way. Back and up. Side. And forward and back. That's all three on the three way hip mode. Going to that, we got standing. Side leg kicks, and um, 
This one's simple again. Come across, come up high, loosen your hips up, switch the other leg and do the same. And then we've also got the standing leg kicks going forward, coming up to the top, getting your hamstrings loosened up. I think we run about five of those each leg. And then, again, with all these things, you don't have to do a set specific number. If you're not feeling loose, do some more. If you're feeling real loose that day and you're feeling good and strong, do a little less. That kind of, you know, comes down to you knowing your body. Since you guys are in high school, just starting off, we'll just go follow the program as is. Last thing, just like you do an upper body, do something to do a central nervous system activation. For us, we like to do jumps. So we can do a number of different jumps, but for today, you know, just for uh, time's sake, work with a big tall jump box, and we wrap off maybe 12, just coming up, land, get yourself back in position, strong, use your arms as you come up, up to the top, be careful as you come down so you don't blow up, definitely don't want to blow up. Number of different jumps you can do, that would be a good jump. You could do broad jumps where you're going to hit three multiple jumps. Or you could even use something like the benches we got over here and line them up next to each other and hit in and over jumps or multiple jumps to the side. Whatever you got to do to get your legs warmed up. Give them a few slaps and you're ready to go. Pound some deads or squats and you're good to go.